Coming up on this week's episode of Punt It Long, I catch up with James Milner, Stephen Dobby and Mike Ashley. Tom TV is saved by the Morton team bus. A Dundee United player is featured on this week's U Bell End and the usual chat about on Film and Athletic Football Club. Enjoy. First up, Mike Ashley. The only official Fraud FC member that we're going to talk about this episode. He's apparently edging ever closer to agreeing a deal to sell Newcastle United, although there's been no bid, official bid, as of yet. Mike, you can't do this to me. You're a valued member of Fraud FC. You can't just flee the scene like this. I was just starting to get over the departure of Shabba Lazo in the summer, and now this. <sighs> On a lighter note though, the boy, Jerry Ulner, Good Guys FC member. He's genuinely probably the best Good Guys FC club ambassador that we could have. The guy's just that pot of golden football that you're wanting. 500 club appearances. Mo, rather unsurprisingly, you are the Premier League man of the oh, match, if you do the honest thing. 500 games. <laughs> <laughs> no, this one's yours. No, no, I have to congratulate him for his amazing career. He deserved it today. And, you know, he had an amazing career. career. So I hope we're going to Very well said. And nominated for the UEFA Team of the Year alongside David Silva and Roberto Firmino. They're here for a reason, lads. But aye, congrats to James Milner, a fantastic professional, and one I'm glad that we've got on board in Good Guys FC. And finally, Stephen Dobie. He's been chosen as five players, Queen of the South players, past and present, to be inducted into the Queen of the South Hall of Fame. I mean, it was just a matter of time, wasn't it? Queens will probably never see a player of his ilk again in the modern era when he eventually hangs up his boots. But I reckon he's got a good few years left in him just yet. I've included this one as a bit of a laugh. Hopefully he's maybe watching this video, Tom TV, Martin. Hopefully you're watching this and you're getting a wee bit of a laugh at it as well because I genuinely just thought it was a class story. So Martin went up to Peterhead in November and won 3-0 in a Scottish Cup replay in midweek. And as I mentioned, Tom TV, Martin, Tom TV on YouTube obviously, was up there watching the game and managed to see himself out of a mean of travel back home after his car broke down and the replacement kind of transport for him, only had four seats in the car, so he was going to be left kind of stranded in Peterhead, four hours from home. Did he get a family member to come? Did he get someone local to maybe just give him a lift, or friend of a friend, maybe get a lift that way? No, he got the team bus, speaking to the manager, speaking to all the players that he probably idolises, and aye, for three hours straight, can't get a better real day than that, can you? Honestly, quality. He even got a wee spot in the daily record as part of the story. Just class. So that time of the week once again we would do the part of the episode called <laughs> Jamie Robson, eh? So basically, Dundee United left back, Jamie Robson, hasn't exactly had the best last 12 months of his career. And to be honest, I don't even feel sorry for the guy because all the stuff he's done, it's all his own doing. And it all seems to be happening around Christmas time. Wonder why that keeps happening, eh? Night suit on the bevy. First off, December last year, he's videoed drinking a beverage behind the wheel of a car. And I mean, that's not exactly the best way to start it off, is it? And then this December, he chooses to black himself up as a part of a, what I can only guess is a fancy dress kind of Christmas party situation. And again, it's not exactly the best way to picture yourself on online social media or whatever. Especially if you're at a club of Dundee United stature. And you know what? There's only one thing for it. In the next Punt It Long episode, Jamie Robson, you're going in for FC, pal. I'm assuming you really give a toss that I'm putting you in here, but you deserve it because I just think you're a bit of a, for want of a probably more vulgar word, idiot. And as usual here on Punt It Long, we'll go full circle and back to my team, Dunfermline. It's a long journey this weekend, but if I'm honest, I'm going in it with either no expectations at all or even less high expectations. I'm really just going to go and enjoy the day as much as I possibly can without getting too up for the game because I just don't know what Dunfermline are going to serve up at this point, especially even considering the past results that we've had against Queen of the South where I think we've only scored, what, one or maybe two goals? I think it's only one goal in the last five or six visits there, so I'm really not even that up for this one. What a boring we are, are we? But aye, that's it for this video guys, cheers for watching, if you did enjoy please give it a like, comment down below anything you think about what I've said, do you think Jamie Robson deserves to go in Fraud FC? And also, subscribe for more of this type of content. And until the next video, which will be a video about applying for jobs when I'm 18 years old and stuff like that tomorrow, 
I'll see you then. Cheers, guys.